Have you ever had way too many plugins or instruments open and you just want to find a way to quickly close them all or maybe hide them all? Well, let's take a look at how we can do that. If you go up to window in your main menu and then go to close all plugin windows, any plugins or instruments that you have open in the project will be completely closed. Now, what happens if we don't want to close them? What happens if we just want to temporarily hide them from view and then show them afterwards? Well, you can also do this by going back to window and then go hide plugin windows. And then if you go back to this menu and go to show plugin windows, it will show the previous plugins or instruments that you had hidden in your project. Now, there is another little option here called select next plugin window. And depending on what order you open your plugins in, so if I do these first four here, that was the first one, that was the second, third, and fourth, and then go to show next plugin window, it will bring to the foreground the first one that you opened and then the ones afterwards, depending on what the order was. Uh, that you opened them up in. Now, like with anything in Cubase, you can bind it to key commands, which is what I've already done for my Stream Deck, so I can show high plugins or close them all. To do this, go to Edit, then Key Commands. From here, you want to scroll down till you see a folder called Windows. Open this folder up, and inside you will find the commands for close all plugin windows, or show hide plugins, which you can then assign a keystroke by clicking the type in key box, pressing a collection of keys that hopefully don't have anything mapped already. If they do have something mapped, you'll see in the assignment here uh, what they're actually mapped to. So pick stuff that hasn't got an assignment, assign it, and there you go, you've got it mapped to your keys. Hope you found this useful. I'll see you all in the next video.